All right, guys, it is sunny, it is hot, and it is Saturday. Today we are back at the family video in Maslin, Ohio. This one has a Marco's Pizza connected to it. Not all of them do anymore. A lot of them got that after the fact, and then they got rid of them, and I don't know what's happening with that. But anyways, we're going to go in here. We're going to see if we can find an awesome, awesome movie to watch tonight. I do have a couple of ideas, but first this. love walking up here and seeing that sign so awesome all right let's go on in here see what we can find I do have a couple of ideas but I got to tell you the first thing that popped out at me is Wonder Park I love this movie I have seen it and I want to see it again but not tonight something specific I am looking for actually there's like two or three what the heck is this not Trespassers? Uh, Ever heard of this one? There are two or three that I am thinking of that I am looking for right now. We're gonna find one of them at least. Now I've seen this one in here a couple times and I've never picked it up. It honestly does not look appealing to me. The first one's hilarious. Ooh, look I got Tron Legacy. I don't think I've even seen this one but it looks pretty good. Holy crap, they got Yogi Bear 3D. Now, I wonder if this is legit 3D because you actually have to have the glasses and a 3D player and everything. Well, I guess it would be. Because all they have to provide is the disc in that case. I'm thinking about when they used to sell the 3D movies and they came with the 3D glasses in the case. You know, like the red and the blue and it was horrible 3D, but... Bedtime stories, man. That is definitely one of my favorites. I could watch this and Pixels a billion times. All right, I'm not even sure where to look for this first one, but I got a first pick in mind, and I really, really want it. Starts with an S, and if it were under Family Fun, it would be right in here somewhere, and I do not see it, but I do see Ray Bradbury's Something Wicked This Way Comes. Awesome movie from the 80s. All right, let's go on over here and check out the favorites section. Okay, back to the S's. S, 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 S. Nope. What in the world is this? A boy called Sailboat? Two for one, and not here. Okay guys, so, so far we are not finding it. We're into the kids' movies here. We've been through this before in here, looking for different things. Uh, let's see, G.I. All right, let's see. Here we go, S's. Not here either. Okay, I believe the last section here is must-see movies. Let's see what we got here. Um... Where's it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Space Jam. Yes, exactly what I'm looking for. All right, this will be perfect. This is good because this has a lot of colors in it and uh, something perfect for what we're going to do tonight. It's funny that these two are sitting here next to each other because I actually was considering watching both of them, Jaws and Jurassic Park. And that's kind of what sparked up what I'm doing tonight, because both of those are on right now at the local Lynn Drive-In Theater. Look at this. A-R-I. My robot friend. There's a little chipmunk friend on there, too. I'm not going to tell you what the other two are, because we are going to use those for a movie night as well, one of these nights. But, uh, but tonight it's going to be Space Jam! <laughs> Okay guys, so it is hot and sunny out right now. The sun is in my eyes, I can barely see. But what we're gonna do tonight is, we're gonna take this area right here of my backyard, and we are gonna make this a drive-in movie theater. Our own 
personal drive-in movie theater. Now I tested this out last night and I'm gonna show you that footage in just a minute, but here's the deal. This is obviously where I park. I'm gonna back up my car a little bit here. We're gonna build a screen right on the front of this garage, the entire front of the garage from this area here, the corner, to that corner all the way down and over. I put this up here last night just a platform it's a piece of wood that i took out of the rv that i'm not going to be using i screwed that into the post there and that is going to be our projection booth right up there that's where the uh, the projector is going to sit now last night i hooked it up to my laptop and i was able to use netflix project the movie straight from there right down onto the front of the garage right there and it took up the entire front of the garage now being that it is still nice and hot and sunny and a beautiful day out here youch I'm going to go on in. I'm going to work on a few other things. We're going to make our snack. But first, we're going to go up here, and I'm going to kind of show you just a little bit more of what we're dealing with, with that platform there and a projector, and just the whole plan for tonight. So this is the projector we're using. It's called a Cronova XPE 460. One of my boys got it for me. Uh, Blaine got it for me a couple years ago. It was either, I think it was for my birthday really good projector i mean it was only like 70 bucks on amazon at the time they don't have any of this style on amazon right now but you can get them on ebay i mean if you want to get one used you can get it for like 20 30 bucks if you want to get a brand new one you can still get them for 70 or 80 and it is a great little projector it's just slightly bigger than my hand and a crystal clear picture a couple of different kinds of plugs in uh, VGA USB HDMI here's an audio video but you have to have like a uh, an adapter that plugs right into there and then has the audio video plugs I was using my laptop last night so I use the HDMI plug it straight in the back there right into my laptop and then anything that shows up on my laptop shows up on the big screen but let me show you this out here this is really cool because it's kind of like the projectionists booth up here <laughs> You walk right out here. We got the uh, surface right here to put the projector. I just put it right here and I uh, have my laptop sitting right here, bring an extension cord out and it shines straight down there onto the garage. Now some of these branches up here I had to tear down because it was causing uh, shadows on the garage, but I mean, it still looked really, really good. Now something else I considered doing was taking like a Sterilite container, a big plastic box container, and making just something that I could put that stuff in in case it rained. Because as it stands right now, it's just out here in the open. You know, there's trees above it, but if it rains, it's all gonna get wet. But I could take a box or a Sterilite container, cut a little hole in it for the projector, and uh, just put everything else in there and it would be protected. Okay, so you guys watch um, the test that I did last night here real quick where I set all this up and I put Back to the Future out there on the garage. It looked totally awesome. You watch that while I get a few other things done here and get ready to make our snack. Then we're going to come back and we are going to put up the screen on the garage and we will get our projector and everything ready and then we'll have a movie night. Space Jam! Right, guys it is just starting to get dark outside and it will be dark very very quickly so what I want to do tonight is a little test to see um, to see if I can use my projector out here I've got this Cronova XPE 460 projector it works totally awesome but what I want to do is set it up out here on the porch what the heck is going on out here anyway <laughs> I want to see if I can set it up on top of that post right there and project it onto the garage and set up like a drive-in, my own personal drive-in with my car right there pointing at the garage and have a drive-in movie night. I've got this thing that I pulled out of the RV that I'm not going to use in there anymore. So I figure I can set this up here to give me a platform for the projector. I can just run a screw straight through there into that post that will hold that still and I can set the uh, projector right on top of there and there's even room on there for the DVD player okay that was really simple I just put two screws through here right into the post it'll hold that nice and steady now I might have to cut down some of this stuff here that's hanging down but I don't know we'll see it's gonna aim straight through to the garage right there let me set up the camera 
let me set up the projector right here and uh, we'll plug it in. We'll shine a light on there and see how big the picture is and if that's going to work and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. It's on. Oh, you can just barely see on the garage right there. I don't know if you guys can even see it. It's as big as the garage, so I'm going to have to see how I make it smaller. And I'm actually going to have to wait till it gets a little bit darker because it's still too light to even really see it on the garage there. The good news is it's definitely going to work and it leaves plenty of room for the DVD player beside it there. Okay guys, this is totally awesome. Check this out. I don't even have any kind of a sheet or any kind of a white thing up on the garage for the picture to be uh, projected onto. But since it's so dark out here, it looks totally awesome. So here's my laptop. I have it hooked up with an HDMI running to the back of the projector. And look at the garage. <laughs> it's enormous on the garage. That is awesome. Even with the neighbor's light on right there, it's still as cool. Look, you can see how big the picture is just by looking at this picture. Look at the other person's garage there. It's as big as the garage. So anything that I want to play on here now, now my, this laptop, I have another one. This one doesn't actually play uh, DVDs, but I can go to like Tubi or Netflix or Prime or anything that I want to, pull up a movie and hit play and it'll play it on the garage right there. Yeah, look at this. So I have Wally's video up here for the closing Sears and there he is on my garage. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look how huge that is. Oh my gosh. How ridiculous. Yeah, guys, this is totally awesome. I put Back to the Future up here, and look how it looks. That is so cool right there. <laughs> this may be the best idea I've had yet for a movie night. My own personal drive-in. Holy crap. And look at this, it's literally as big as the garage, from this end all the way over to that end. You can barely even see the actual garage door back there. I mean, you can see it, but <laughs> this movie's hilarious. If I put up like a sheet on there, it would be perfect. So this is how it looks from inside the car, guys. If I back up the picture, it gets darker. But yeah, I mean, this looks pretty awesome. I had to back the car up about three more feet so I could see the whole screen. But here we go. Check it out. <laughs> I love Back to the Future. 88. Ooh, and it gets really bright like that. You can see the, uh, the garage door. That is pretty sweet, guys. I could even build, like, a, uh, well, you can't see it there hardly. <laughs> I could even build a, uh, like, a little thing over top of that, almost like a projection booth, just in case it would happen to rain. That way I wouldn't have to stop watching the movie. Tonight, we are going to... Tonight, we're going to make spacey Italian. <laughs> I can't even say it's so stupid. <laughs> spicy Italian jalapeno tuna wraps. But since it's Space Jam, they're spacey Italian tuna wraps. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we're going to use these flat out wraps right here. I was looking at the carb count on these, and. Uh, Let's see, each wrap will have about 11 carbs. So I'm going to use two of these. That's 22. It's not too horrible. We're also going to use sliced jalapenos, Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, spicy Dijon mustard. We're going to chop up an onion, shredded cheddar cheese, and chunk light tuna in water. Spacey tuna wraps. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So let's get two of these things out of here. If I can get the bag open. They smell pretty good. They do have Italian seasoning in there. One would probably be enough. But you know, when you're watching a movie, you want to have enough to sit there and munch for a while and then just kind of sit back and then be like, hey, I want some more. <laughs> I hate draining tuna because 
if you push too hard, it like explodes all over the place. All right, let's get this mixed up here. All right, a little bit of mayonnaise. A little bit of Dijon mustard. All the tuna. Onions. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this with the jalapenos. You can take these out, cut them up into little diced pieces, and that will make these things a lot hotter, a lot more spicier. I love jalapenos, but I don't like them to be super, super hot. So I'm gonna take the whole slices, and I'm gonna actually lay them on top of the tuna once I put it on the wrap, and I'm gonna roll it up like that. That will give me the delicious taste of the jalapenos, a little bit of zing, and it won't be too, too hot. Okay, another thing I'm gonna do, since I'm not quite ready to eat these yet, as you can see, it's still blazing outside. I got some tin foil here. I'm gonna make each one on a piece of tin foil, roll it up, then I'll roll the tin foil around it. That way I can stick it in the fridge and they will be nice and cold and crispy and delicious a little bit later when I'm ready for them. Let's just get started. There's one. A nice blob of tuna. <laughs> That's a lot, oh my gosh. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah, it's only gonna take one of these to uh to fill me up there's no way i can eat two of these and i'm a pretty big eater but that's a lot of tuna guys okay gonna get right in there with the hot jalapenos one two three four five six one more seven right along the top there make sure we get some in every bite And cheddar cheese to boot. That ought to be good. Roll this up nice and tight. Ah, oh, that is going to be so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. One is ready to roll. And there we go. Those are ready for later. Now, let's go ahead out and we'll start working on that screen. Okay, guys. So what we have here is a super tough drop cloth. This is a white cloth-like drop cloth instead of just like a regular plastic one like you would get when you're painting. Um... Then I also have this Velcro here. This is only a two-pack, but I'm going to cut this to be as many strips as we need, which hopefully will only be probably three on each side. I don't know. I'll look at this and see what it looks like. Um, the drop cloth here is 8 by 12 feet, which is just a little bit smaller than what I wanted. But there is still plenty of room to put a little bit of Velcro um, right along the edge on each side. And then it'll hold it nice and tight. Now, you saw the footage from last night where I was watching Back to the Future. And this is what it was projected on right here. Just the garage door, just like that. It hit the shingles. It hit the garage door, the windows, all these nooks and crannies where it, it dips in here like, what, six, eight inches? And it was a really, really good picture even just showing on that. But if I put up this drop cloth and we have a flat surface for it to project on, it's gonna look that much better. I do not have my tripod with me tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then I will show you what it looks like. Man, we got some serious sirens going on. All right, let me show you this quick, guys. I draped this thing over my car and I want to show you this. I was really worried about the Velcro sticking to this material. It's like a soft cloth material on one side, and you can see that sheen. So it's like a plastic on this side, and that stuff sticks perfectly on there. Now I just need to measure the wall here, the garage, and uh, see exactly where to put the other pieces of Velcro to stick this up. Okay, well I got that up. That's how it looks right there. We got this thing in the middle though. I thought it was going to be one giant piece, and it is. I'll need to put another piece of Velcro and lift that up a little bit to flatten that out. But 
it's two pieces that have been fused together here. So I think what I'll do, since it's sticking up like that, it'll probably cause a shadow on the top or the bottom somewhere across there if I don't cut that down. I can actually take the scissors and cut it down to about right here. That way when we put the movie on it, you won't even see that seam. All right, that's a little bit better. I cut it down the best I could and uh, I cut off a little bit more than half of what was sticking out. Still see a little bit, but like I said, you know, once we get the movie shining on there, you won't even see that. You won't see any of these wrinkles or anything. This is gonna be so cool, guys. I'm getting so excited. Also, guys, if you're thinking of doing this, I can tell that this right here is more than likely just a one-time use thing. It was only $7, so that's good. Um, but yeah, the way that it's put together, the material, uh, I mean, if it got wet out here, that thing would be toast. So let's go ahead up here. We'll set up the, uh, the projector and it's starting to get dark. I'm getting excited. Okay, getting everything ready up here. We got the movie, we got the projector, we got the, uh, well, this is actually a 3D Blu-ray player, but it's a DVD player tonight. It'll work for that. One thing left that I'm thinking about is the sound. It has a headphone jack. Um, it actually has sound on here. It's just not very loud. I mean, it's loud enough, but I really want to have some better speakers on there, and I think I have a solution. There was just some guy outside in an enormous semi trying to get around my little neighborhood here. I don't know how he even got the thing up here twice the size of the RV. Anyway, so here's what I got. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I got these speakers that go to a computer. It's got a USB plug and that plug right there, an audio plug. I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works. I mean, if nothing else for tonight, I can just listen to it on the uh, uh, the projector itself. Otherwise, I really need a sound bar. And I have this one in here, but I haven't started tearing stuff down yet. And the plug and the wires go down back into this big box that I built that's connected to the wall. So that's not even an option tonight. That's looking pretty good down there. It's not quite dark enough yet. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer before I bring this stuff out. Which for you guys will be in just a few seconds here. But I'm gonna go do a little bit more editing while I'm waiting. I am getting so hungry for those snacks. Oh my gosh. Spacey tuna wraps. <laughs> it's such an idiot, that stuff cracks me up. All right guys, I'm pretty excited it worked. I, I set everything up in here just um, to test out the speakers. Because of copyrights, I can only turn this up for a split second or else the system will catch it. But listen to this. Yep. That is awesome. For such small speakers, that is great sound. That is such an improvement from this thing. I have it all set up here. It's pointed at the screen, and as soon as it gets just a little bit darker, I'm gonna show you how it looks. It looks totally awesome. I'm getting excited. The speakers work totally awesome. Not supposed to have any rain tonight, so we should be good to go for an awesome drive-in movie night with Space Jam. All right, guys, here it is. Look how awesome that looks. That's a clear across the entire garage. Let's go down there. Spacey Tunas, Gatorade Zero. Michael Jordan would be proud. Okay. Yeah, look at this, guys. Look how awesome that looks. I can either get in the car, sit right there, and watch the movie on the huge screen, or else I can come over here, and I got a chair set out. I can sit right here. There are a couple of little sprinkles coming down. I can feel them from time to time. But looking at the weather app, it's like a 3 and 5% of rain, so it's not going to do anything. Ooh, here comes the awesome intro. We got... <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. We got people lighting off fireworks here. See, here in Canton we play a game called Fireworks or Gunshots. If you see the fireworks, you know it was fireworks. Anyways, guys, so yeah, there we go. There's the awesome drive-in. There's how it looks right there if I were, well, not if I were sitting in the car, but I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> There's my drive-in right there, guys. So cool.
All right, guys, I'm going to get my spacey tuna wraps, sit down in a chair over here and watch this awesome movie on this enormous garage-sized screen in my backyard. I'll see you guys next week.